is Mary Kay Mace. This is a photo of my only child, my daughter Ryan. Ryan was the youngest of the five students murdered in the mass shooting at Northern Illinois University on Valentine's Day of 2008. She was three months shy of turning 20. In those years when Ryan's birthday falls on a Sunday, it is also Mother's Day. I used to like Mother's Day because it meant I got to spend the day enjoying the company of my loved ones. Now I avoid leaving the house at all on Mother's Day. It hurts too much to see other moms getting to share a meal in restaurants with their children, or to see these mothers at church proudly displaying the corsage they got from their kids. Instead of a day of joy, Mother's Day now brings me pain and sorrow. When I reflect upon what gun laws might make a difference in how safe we are, I think that the most important starting point is strengthening the background check database. There are more than a million records of prohibited purchasers missing from the system. I understand that there are ways to get around getting a background check to purchase firearms and that we definitely need to close those loopholes, but we also need to make sure that the pertinent information is entered into the National Instant Criminal Background Check System to begin with. When I hear what an inconvenience background checks are for law-abiding gun owners, I think about how the same could be said about obeying the training, licensing, registration, insurance, and traffic laws involved with driving a car. But most law-abiding drivers know that those laws are in place to protect not only the vehicle's owner, but also the safety of the public at large. I wish people could understand how easily it could be them sitting here in my place, having nothing left of their child except for their memories and a bunch of photographs. How much inconvenience would you be willing to endure so that you don't end up like me?